first start of his college career and a nice beginning to his starting assignment. There's Green, Draymond Green along two. Well, look here. Hart gets in front, forcing Green out. Green, being a senior, really has worked on his perimeter game. David Stockton is 9 of 13 from three this year. He doesn't shoot a lot, but an extremely good outside shooter. He only shoots wide open ones like that one. He's not a guy that's ever going to force him. But great help by Thornton. That's what he is in there to do. A lot like Michael Hart of Gonzaga. Just make plays. Be the glue guy. Green, three-pointer. Good. Greens are a big part of this action. And you're going to see Elias Harris right there. He doesn't sprint back to Draymond Green. Green just being hounded by Hart. Tries to get by him with the dribble. And Spartans are going to have to use their depth here tonight. Green with the move. Left hand with the foul. That's a staple move of Michigan State. Hit the high post. Guard goes screen. Bring the post ball side. Sacre again. You see him reaching in. Jumping to the ball is a fundamental defensive play. And go get a basket. Zaga back up by one. There's Green. Appling looks to his head coach, Tom Izzo. Now runs the play. Green for three. Good. Draymond Green has developed into a nice pick and pop player. Not a low post guy anymore. He'll set a screen and then he's going to pop out to the wing. Bell kind of fakes at him. Spartans with a four point lead plus the ball. Green really feeling it. Draymond Green again scores. That time Green did and fouled. Here you're going to see Green just with a determination and. Two teams here still in the thick of things in the Big 12 Conference. Number 23, Texas and Texas Tech. The Longhorns currently tied for second in the Big 12. Featured in our Star Watch, one of them is just a freshman, Kevin Durant of Texas. The other, Jarius Jackson, a senior of Texas Tech. Well, Kevin Durant, I think, is the best player in the country, hands down, freshman or otherwise. Can do everything. You see the numbers right there in conference play are amazing. Handle the business here at home. Here's Durant's first shot of the game, and he nails a three. Took a shot earlier to the nose. Got cotton in one of the nostrils, and he's finding nothing but cotton on the long-range jump. Oh, what a shot by Durant. The quick catch. He knew the defender was coming over. They're having success in their early offensive opportunity. A 9-2 run, but Durant, Durant comes quick. It looked like a quick shot, but the Texas Tech bench wasn't too upset about it. And that's going to upset Bob and Pat Knight. We talked to Pat Knight before the game. The head coach designated Bob's son, obviously, and Bob calls timeout, probably upset. They did not want to give up. Durant threes in transition, and they did right there. Well, we got an old Texas shootout going on right now. Durant got it blocked by Zeno. Jerry Jackson knows where the weight room is. He took a nice bump along the baseline, had the strength to stay the course and get the jump of the fall. And there's Kevin Durant again. That's 13 points now for Durant on five of eight shooting his two of three from three-point line. He has in his offensive game, as you mentioned right there, able to avoid the charge using the height advantage over the 6'5 Zeno right there. Nice touch off the glass. And then this is the double team use of the pivot to go away from the defense to feed his guy. And then the opportunity presents itself. They go right to Durant. He scores easily on the first play of the second half. Nice. Durant got it back and the jam. And Texas has taken a two-point lead. Texas Tech is yet to score. In front of a sold-out crowd here at United Spirit Arena. Seven. Of course, they swept the season series, did the Cougars against the Huskies, and there is Clay Thompson, his first game back with the Cougars since serving his one-game suspension after being charged with marijuana possession. Of course, he is also the leading scorer in the Pac-10 in a first team. Taken down by Capers. They won't play off early, and he hits his first three attempts. Well, well, that's a good sign. He comes out aggressive offensively the first two times he touches the basketball. He comes <clears throat> back in, and that's Clay Thompson's second three. He's got six. He is not being reserved at all with his offensive approach. He's got times they play. Clay Thompson on the drive, spinning around and knocking it down. 
Clay Thompson with eight points in the first half. I love his mindset. He is focused. He is unfettered. He's alive. Came to a basketball game and a Joni Mitchell concert broke out. <laughs> Huskies on an eight-nothing run. Clay Thompson. Three. Nope. Nope. I know this may sound difficult, Marcus, but he was suspended for one game caught with marijuana. It was one of the most moving moments I've seen this year. Clay Thompson does not show a great deal of emotion at practice or in games that I've seen him in his three years. He supported his teammates. He was in tears. He was feeding his teammates the basketball and their layup drills. And I, I think it, it, it may be a healing for this basketball team. Help him as a player in person. Well, Rodgers and Cowens couldn't have, couldn't have scripted it any better, and, and you know, not to say there's any ulterior motive, but then to be sincere. Thompson fights his way inside, scores, has a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Huskies now four of 13 from three-point range. Thompson has it swatted into the stands by Matthew Bryan Amini. The biggest lead has been 13. Here's Terrence Ross. No rebounding capers. Outlet Thompson got it. I am the greatest. And back comes Davidson Curry with a nice look ahead and a block. Count it. Carl Hess will score the bucket. Credit Will Archambault with the basket. And he really gets to the rim. Getting to the rim and laying it in is Arshambo on the alley-oop from Curry. He's long and athletic, but he hasn't been shooting well. And now the Mountaineers get a beat down the floor. Andrew Lovedale will lay it in on the feed from Curry. Again, even after you score, both with shoulder injuries entering this game. Curry. And he may be slender, but you showed there, Jay, he can absorb a little bit of punishment. There's a block from behind by Curry. You know Dell very well. You've known Stephen since he, I think, was a sophomore in high school. Tell us about Curry, the man. Well, he, he's a great kid, and he's got a maturity that's way beyond his years. John Flowers with the jump hook for the Mountaineers, and Andrew Lovedale, a senior from Nigeria. NBA distance three is there for Stephen Curry. The best time to shoot a three is after an offensive rebound. Why? Because everybody is inside of the lane usually, and the shooter gets to step into the shot. A shooter stepping into the shot is always a better shooter. The three, rebound Wildcats. Lovedale with another board. Well, West Virginia does a good job of keeping that ball alive. Barr steps back, hits the three. He had a defender, Wellington Smith, right on him, pressuring that shot. But right out, Joe Missoula back in. Curry knocks down a long two. He's got seven. And Bob Huggins has seen enough at the defensive end of the floor as Curry has heated up and Davidson has heated up and gone from trailing. Seven points so far. <laughs> Make it nine. How about that? He had Wellington Smith on him who did a really nice job of stopping the ball in transition. And then the quick little step back and what a quick release. And Allison out ahead of the pack. Another assist.